Right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a main menu screen for your Roblox game. So when the player loads in, they've got a main menu here with the play button, and they'll be looking down from somewhere in your map. Right, so the first thing we want to do is go into the workspace and add a part. And we're going to call this camera part. Right, now what we're going to do with this, we're going to turn on anchored and we're going to turn off can collide, can touch and can query. And then we're going to move this part to face wherever you want. Uh, the camera to be facing when the player joins the game so i'm just going to make it look down at roughly where the player is going to be standing and then we're going to change this transparency to one so now we've got this part what we're going to do is make the main menu screen itself so what we're going to do start a gui add a screen gui and then i'm going to change the name of this to main menu and then i'm going to turn on ignore gui inset so it will cover the entire screen and then in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a frame this is going to cover the entire screen and give a sort of darkened effect. So in this frame, in properties, I'm going to change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. So make it cover the whole screen. Change the background color to 0, 0, 0. And make the background transparency 0 0.7. Right, now we've got this nice little darkened effect. What we're going to do is in this frame, we're going to add a text button. And we're going to call that play button. And then what we're going to do is scroll down in our properties turn on text scaled change the text to play and then i'm just going to change the font face and then if we scroll up in properties we need to center this button so how we can do that change this anchor point here to 0.5 comma 0.5 and then size i'm going to change that to 0.2 comma 0 comma 0.1 comma 0 and then i'm going to make the position 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0 and that just means it will be centered in the screen at all times so now we're going to go into this play button and I'm going to add a UI corner and I'm going to add a UI stroke. Now you don't have to do this, but I think it makes the button look a little bit better. So in this UI stroke, I'm just going to change this to border and make the thickness three. So now our button is looking a little bit better. What we're going to do is we can take this main menu and chuck it into replicated first. And we're also going to add in replicated first a local script. Now I'm going to put this local script here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to change the name of it to main menu script and then once again in our explorer i'm going to drag the main menu into our local script so now we need to reference this screen gui in our local script so i'm going to make a variable local ui equals script dot main menu so now we've got our ui we're going to also make a variable for our button so our button is local button equals ui dot frame dot play button now we've referenced both of these, what we're going to do is we're going to say repeat wait until game colon is loaded. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say ui.parent equals game.players.local player colon wait for child player gui. Right, now we've done this, now we've set the ui to be inside the player gui. What we're going to do is we're going to say button dot mouse button one click colon connect function ui colon destroy and then script colon destroy right now we've done this we're going to actually make the camera face from our part that we made here so how we can do that is we're going to need to go back into our local script and reference the part so local camera part equals game dot workspace colon wait for child camera part and then what we're going to do is local camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera and now we need to make it so we can move this camera how we can do that is camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable. And now we want to make the camera positioned where this part is. So how we can do that is camera dot C frame equals camera parts dot C frame. Now we've got our camera facing from our part. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead back into our button. And we're also at the top of this, we're going to put camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom now we can give this a test click the play button we will see that when we load in we are facing down from this part here and then when we click play we're in our game so that was how you can make a quick little menu screen in roblox studio for your roblox game if you enjoyed the video find it helpful please subscribe give me a like you know get me back into the youtube algorithm after this massive massive break and yeah i'll see you next time goodbye